Hello folks, this is JW with Stevens Family Outdoors and I'm outside today um, wanting to just uh, illustrate my technique of shooting my recurve. This happens to be my custom bighorn. Um, I'm shooting a full length arrow. I always shoot a full length arrow and I'll let you know why a little bit later here. But uh, my style of shooting is a combination of instinctive, uh, point of aim, and face walking. And I'd like to demonstrate that to you here. Now the instinctive part comes, comes from after you've done this repeatedly for so many times, it just comes to you instinctively. Uh, judging the yardage is an instinctive thing that we do. Uh, we don't use a range finder. Uh, we don't use uh, any kind of stepping off method or anything. It just is something that over a period of time that you have done so many times that it becomes your brain automatically uh, causes it to calculate. And you know, you can even look out and say oh, that's 27 yards. And you can even get to the point to where you may uh, get it this good to where you can say that's 27 and a half yards but I don't believe it needs to get that um, complicated. But nonetheless, I'm gonna take a couple shots here. Uh, the dirt pile is about 15 yards, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and shoot two arrows at a cow patty that is on the uh, dirt pile. And yes, I did have to pick up the cow patty and put it in place, so it was, uh, semi-firm so we're good so I'm gonna zoom up here we ought to be able to get that close anyway so I'm gonna zoom up there on the cow pie take a shot at it all right here we go Shot number two. Dead cow pie. Now that was 15 yards, or approximately there. Uh, my full length arrow, when I come to full draw and I put the tip of the arrow instinctively, I don't stare at the arrow, I can see the arrow. And anybody that shoots it instinctive can see the arrow. They just don't uh, concentrate on the arrow. They're looking out past, but in their peripheral vision, they have to see the arrow. Uh, but you don't concentrate on that arrow. You concentrate on your target. As I do, I can see the tip of my arrow, but I'm not looking and focusing on the tip. I can see that tip that it is on the target that I am focusing on and it instinctively becomes that now. This only works if you use the same length of arrow every time you shoot. Uh, the second thing that I do <clears throat> is when I anchor, I, I do what is called face walking. If you can see here, uh, my index, my middle, my ring finger on this tab. When I'm shooting, say, 15 yards, I shoot three fingers under with the middle finger in the corner of my mouth. If it happens to be 20 yards and I judge it at 20 yards, I shoot three fingers under with my index finger in my mouth. And if I judge the distance to be 25, I know some of you say, well, why don't you just hold up a little bit? Down? I've got this here down for me. This is for me to where I can shoot split finger at 25 yards, split finger with the middle finger in my mouth. 
I'm walking up my face if you can see that and then for 30 yards I shoot split finger with the index finger in my mouth you just figure that out for each finger width it's about five yards and the technique that I call it is face walking because I'm actually walking up and down my face my my bow is staying the same but each yard yardage middle finger three under 15 yards index finger three under 20 yards middle finger Mediterranean style split finger middle finger is 25 yards 30 yards index finger shooting split finger style now you might say that's awful complicated well it's really not you stop and think about it you've got two fingers that you anchor with 15 20 25 30 three under 15 20 Mediterranean or split finger 25 30 and anything over 30 yards I won't shoot at anyway with uh, recurves or with bows or anything like that there anything over 30 yards I won't I just won't do it so I hope that has helped uh, helped you along a little bit to understand and maybe you want to try this maybe you don't you know to each his own if you've got a good shooting style that you're already doing well with great hang with it stick with it this is my style that I just wanted to share with you that it is another option out there in the traditional world uh, to be able to shoot now I'm not a tournament shooter or whatever I'm just not that good but I love to get in the woods I love to hunt with my recurve I've come up with this style for me and it seems to be working just fine have a great day. You're watching Stevens Family Outdoors. And God bless. I surely don't claim to be an expert archer, but I sure have a lot of fun doing it. God bless.